Jesus, because every time I sign into this game, it sounds like a fucking airplane in my PlayStation. Like, Jesus, Jesus I'm gonna get closer. Listen to this shit. Listen, really? Every fucking time. Anyway, hello, ladies and gentlemen. Robert Dragfire here, and it's been a while since I even made a rec room video, and it's, it's been a little bit since I actually posted the video here, too. Apologies for that. It took a little bit of a break. But anyway, basically, what we're gonna be doing today is we're gonna be playing another video game. By Savage on VR. Hopefully, I pronounced that right. Uh, ho hopefully. Now, if you guys don't know, we've actually played uh, games by this creator already quite a lot. Uh, if you don't know, we have we have a fucking playlist of it. Uh, <laughs> like, I'm not gonna lie. I enjoyed the games that this dude has made, and like an entire team has made these games. You know, it's, it's like, really fucking cool. I enjoy them. Uh, obviously, like some of them, cringe, didn't like, but. A majority of them I actually did enjoy, so if you guys want to, you can go to their channel and subscribe there is on the screen and stuff like that. But I noticed, right, I went to check just to see if they posted any updates in the video game. And they ended up posting, like, a little YouTube shorts saying, Go to Summer Camp 1980. The game is epic to go play. We worked on very hard. Uh, ba basically, they, they made a new game. They made a new game, and that's what we're going to be doing today. We're going to be checking it out. And, uh, yeah, ho hopefully it's gonna be fucking sick. And we're gonna also, yeah, my rec room has changed. Like, I, I got Auto D2, I, I got that dude. Uh, <laughs> I've, I've got this motherfucker. Trying to... Oh, that's not all. Now, if if you didn't actually know, I, in fact, made my own little hub. That's right, all the F games hub. By clicking on this, you'll actually be mean all my favorite games. Like, games I've played, which I think a lot of you guys will go and enjoy themselves. All 150 people that visited it, 10 people that chilled it, and 5 people was fucking, uh, uh, favorited it. Holy shit, oh my god, anyone leave any comments? Let's, let's see. You're weird. Thank you, Sane. I approve. <laughs> nice. <laughs> and here we are. In the RDF Games Hub, I basically put a bunch of rooms that I've played before and I really enjoyed. We got the meme elevator too, we got the crazed man. Uh, whoa, what was that? What do you mean it's not available? Oh, room warning. Okay, I thought this was unavailable for a second. We got the Craze Man, which is actually, like, we did a series on that. Obviously, playlists. Uh, I'm walking too close to the doors, apparently. I've triggered them all. We got Perry the Platypus. Uh, we got uh, Silent Hell PT. We got the Enigma Project. We also got Cosmic Humanity. Those Who Mourn, which it wasn't that bad uh, of a game. I'm not going to lie. I did enjoy it, though. I did enjoy it. And, of course, we got Stanley Parable, Bowling, and Do You Copy. I'm going to be making another room probably bigger than this and fit even more hub doors in that. So if you guys want to, definitely go check this room out and play games that I've played. Also, also uh, a free promotion up here because I'm a dumbass and... Hey, how's it going? Ah! No! Holy shit, the loading screen to this looks really cool. Hmm. Well, I don't like that. Put in voices. Ah ha ha! What? Hey yo, listen to old map trails. Please separate your voices and ambiance uh, when you're making a game. <laughs> oh, I really hope there's no talk. There's gotta be talking. This isn't there. There's always talking in these kind of things. If virtual bugs happen, just leave and rejoin the game because the game works perfectly fine. It's just bugs. Uh, well, if the game works perfectly fine, there wouldn't be any bugs. I, I, I hate to, <laughs> I hate to disagree with you there, my friend. Oh, disclaimer, do not spam the text box or it will not work. Um, okay. God, this is creepy as fuck. Oh, how's it going, buddy? How are you, man? What? What are you doing out here? Uh, at this type of I thought he was gonna read the text out. Ah, never mind. Do I click it? Oh, okay. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Have you heard about the murderers that happened here? I, I did not. I haven't heard about any murderers. Why you asked? I'm an investigator. Oh wait, this is me asking him. Okay, I'm an idiot. Uh, I'm the investigator of these murderers. Murders or murderers? You two as well. Have nope. Good night. Did I spam it? I didn't, I didn't mean to spam it. Alright. Here we go. 
Is that a duck? Oh, it's not a duck, it's a lion. Okay. God, it's so dark. Cabin's that way. And what's, what's over here? Hike trail. Uh, let's go to the cabins first, since that's the closest one to us. We'll head that way first. I'm investigating murderers left, right. Oh yeah, I fucked your wife. I fucked your nan. In the graveyard cemetery. Oh, I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. <laughs> I better not get followed by anything. I can't go that way. Oh, I gotta go this way. I don't know. What? Where am I going? Did I miss something back here? Jump. Perhaps if I just keep spamming the jump, I might be able to get to that side. And then. Oh! There we go. Right, well, that door's locked. So I think I'm meant to like try all the houses out. Is, is that what's happening? Jump, 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 jump. I'm expecting cheap jump scales. So I'm propelled. You won't get me. You might get me, actually. I'm not paying attention too much. If I'm caught off guard, cheap jump skills uh, definitely affect me all of a sudden. So I gotta, like, I'm gonna distract There's gotta be cheap jump skills everywhere. Still can't go over there. Come on. It's actually fucking difficult to see. I ain't gonna lie. My brightness is all the way up as well. I haven't checked yet. So if this one is also closed, I'm gonna have to head back where I came. Oh. Oh, so this was meant to be this was meant to be a body. Oh, okay, so we got one skeleton. Oh, okay, I can travel forward now. Fucking stairs, man. I can fucking. There we go. Alright, so we got another scale in here. Oh, hey, look! Easter egg! <laughs> is there no one there? No, okay. Alright, so it is generally a struggle for me to get up and down certain platforms. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. So. I am concerned no jump scares has happened yet. Alright, so we're back here somehow, even though that definitely didn't head in the direction we went in. The light in there is gone. Pipe drills next. Start what? Oh, a cutscene? Shit, 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 shit. No, no. Oh my god. Sliding technique. Ah! Was I? No. Oh, okay. It's gonna take me a while to do this then. Wait. I can't go back. Oh, 
Oh, there we go. Kind of disappointing it didn't see me at the beginning of this. So every time I get caught, I have to um, continuously go back and forth, back and forth, back. Okay, so that is definitely uh, tedious. That's, it's, uh, that's slightly annoying. <laughs> Alright, here we go again. Running. I don't know how we're gonna be fast in him at all. I did get caught though. Maybe I was on the grip. What? Huh? what? I couldn't move. Don't send me all the way back here though. I couldn't move. <laughs> what the fuck? Don't send me back. Oh, for fuck's sake. I think I like the original uh, headless as uh, is, is um, seeming more enjoyable than this right now. <laughs> I'm just going to spam jump. Hopefully that will help this time. Nope. It's... Ah oh, ha ha I dodged him. Didn't know that was possible. So, um, can we often? <laughs> right. <laughs> well, it took me a while, but I, I, I don't know if that was meant to happen. Krayl, if you're watching this, was that meant to happen? I don't know if it was. <laughs> I also know for a fact that Krayl is watching this as well, because the previous ones he did see, so the bomb he does believe he's seen this too. No cranberry, no camping ground, they got buried down. I remember it now, many years ago, the campers were just disappearing. Turns out they were killed off by a crazy counselor, like teens. Is this, um... Is this a Jason Voorhees type reference that's happening for this? Well, we've got another skeleton. It must have run through here, I could either turn back now or try and end it. Or, what am I kidding, I'm going to end this. Uh, hopefully the boss fight's gonna be playable. <laughs> if there is a boss fight. Like, what is this, by the way? Like, I am struggling to walk properly with food getting, like, stuck in so much shit, man. I'm so confused. Like, there's not much investigation that's happening so far, if I'm being honest with you. Am I enjoying it? Despite it being a little bit tedious, I, I am enjoying it a little, yeah. I need- this needs to stop. So far, you only interviewed one person and found a bunch of skeletons, but you know what? Besides that, this is actually pretty good, I'm not gonna lie. This might be a short horror, if I'm being honest with you. This house root Is that shit smeared all over the wall? <laughs> the basement! A bas- Of course, in these things, there's always a basement! Oh, man. Hello! You decent, don't you? Oh, somebody's gonna pop through that wall. Oh, what the? Did he kill me? Yeah, I do remember you. <laughs> he just said, hey, your brother. Hi! Hello, bro. <laughs> what? Now all those people can rest, evil had died, and I finally figured out what happened to my brother. I won't forget this night, I will remember for your sake. Even though my brother died, I'm still glad they have found all those people. How did the house get set on fire? He didn't have a light on him at all. There was no gasoline in the building either. I'm, I'm so confused. The slow walking is what it takes guts and courage to make a decision for the decisions me and that man had made, and now I realise the true potential of what people will have become this night and forever knowing as Summer Camp 1980. Alright then. Going to cre- <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I will say this. As a short horror game on Rec Room, it is decent. I do, I, I do enjoy it. It was alright. It was a bit confusing. 
there wasn't really much detective work, but I could see when the angle they were going for for this, so it was really uh, good that wise. Uh, gameplay wise, um, it was a struggle and a half. Uh, there were certain sections where I just kept getting stuck. My character would just refuse to walk, and they continuously try and jump over certain things just to get there. The lighting is. Um, uh, I understand, obviously, night times are going to be dark, but I feel like it might be a bit too dark in certain places to see where you're meant to be going. Uh. The, the racing section, not racing, the chase scene, uh, didn't know what the fuck I was going to do, and I did hate the fact I kept getting teleported back to the cabin section, to continuously going back and forth to the sex same section, so that's a little bit weird. I think the killer himself didn't really get explored enough as well, like, it just, it, it, it was so fast paced, like, I do see where they were going for it, but it was so fast paced, so it does suck it wasn't a little bit longer, but it was pretty decent. I will say that. It was a decent game. If I had to rate it, uh, I would definitely give it about a 7 out of 10. I did enjoy it. I didn't enjoy it as much, of course, as the headless stuff and uh, shit like that. You know, about the stuff I've done previously. I did enjoy that a whole lot more than I did this, though. But I'm not saying this is bad. I, it's generally good. I did, in fact, enjoy the game. Uh, so, yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. Gary Fowler. After joining his friends for a camping trip, they didn't expect to end with only one surviving. Gary had burned down Jonathan and the camp. Still suffering from all the trauma, Gary set, set, reset, set rest just to inform the old entrance. Saving you from the blood berry ripper, Gary had hoped to finally end the killings from every happening again. Forever happening again. God, I butcher everything I read. Barry Ripple. In the year 1960, a camp counselor by the name of Jonathan King had went psycho after looking over a bunch of high school degenerates. Jonathan killed them all except one, Gary Fowler, and burnt down the entire North Berry Grove, hoping to end his trauma in 1975. They had rebuilt the camp, naming it Bloodberry Grove, and an odd new horror name for such horror. An odd new name for such horror. Alright, well, the lore's quite short, but, eh, pretty cool. The character in the sign, though, is actually pretty sick. You gotta give them credit for that. That's pretty fucking cool. Alright, that's the end of the video, guys. Uh, as always, hope you guys enjoy it. If you want to see more Rec Room videos, let me know, and hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you have not already. I'm aiming for 100 subscribers, so thank you all. We'll see you all in the next video.